Hey guys, this is a full deck of 52 cards. People use it to play poker. There's a bunch of different games. No Limit Hold'em is a very popular one. Sometimes in China lately, people take out the twos, the threes, the fours, and the fives. You end up with a 36 card deck. Gameplay is very different. The, an ace can make a straight if its board is six, seven, eight, nine. So an ace can be a five. Oh man, and there's a lot to explain. You can get rid of these twos, threes, fours, and fives. One, it's harder to hit flushes. Now when you have a flush draw, you only have five outs left instead of having nine outs. Two, jack 10 and ace king are basically a coin flip. If you have a set against a straight, you didn't get it in behind. If you're on the flop, you're actually a small favorite. Remember the ace can be a five though. So again, ace, six, seven, eight, nine is a straight, but you'd still lose to any 10. Straights and straight draws, straights happen a lot and straight draws are worth a lot more. If you have a straight draw on the flop, let's say it comes king, seven, eight, and you have nine, 10, and the other guy is ace, king. Uh, my math's a little rusty, but it's something right around 50-50. And if the guy had, say, King Jack, for example, he's actually a little bit more of a favorite because he blocks her straight a little bit. And if you hit two pair, he makes a straight. So there's all that math stuff to figure out later, but it makes for a pretty good poker game. And they've been playing it in China a lot lately. And they play some funny variations. I've played it, I believe twice, when there were blinds, like normal No Limit Hold'em. But a lot of the time we play where everyone anties. And then sometimes there'll be a uh, straddle on the button. Sometimes there'll be blinds somewhere else. There's actually two types of short deck. The type we were playing for a long time, a full house beats a flush, just like always. Just recently, we've started playing a flush beats a full house. That's because someone went and did the math and apparently flushes actually happen less commonly than full house. I haven't verified this, so don't, don't yell at me if I'm wrong. But, uh, the last few days we've been playing a flush beats a full house and I think this might carry on longer. I, I think there was some jurisdiction where they needed to have it that way because the less likely hand needs to beat the hand that's more likely than it. So I think some casinos are going to be like this where flush beats a full house. There might be two different variations. Maybe some people play flush beats a full house, some play it doesn't, but it changes the game a lot. When you're playing normal short deck, I call it normal because that's the one I'm used to where a full house beats a flush. Flush draws usually aren't that good. You don't have that many outs. Even if you hit, someone might make a full house on you. And when you're playing this new variation, all of a sudden two suited cards looks pretty good. Then you can have someone make a full house, think they got the hand all wrapped up and you just sneak it in there and win a big pot off them. But it's a pretty cool game. They're just starting to play it in Vegas a little bit. We've been playing it in Montenegro. I think there's, there were almost games in Manila. Maybe there were games in Manila. I don't really remember. I've been playing too much poker, so my mind's hazy. But they're playing short deck a lot. You guys should learn it.